There's an article I want to read where the left bemoans Republicans are going to win. In order to get to that point, we need to talk about your documentary. And in order to get to that point, I do want to talk about sure. this story about Marjorie Taylor Greene. The Daily Mail incorrectly reports Marjorie Taylor Greene calls for national divorce from the East and West Coasts and taxes on Californians and New Yorkers <laughs> moving to different parts of the country. She didn't exactly say that. She said, all possible in a national divorce scenario. After Democrat voters and big donors ruin a state like California, you would think it wise to stop them from doing it to another great state like Florida. Brainwashed people that move from CA to NY really need a cooling off period. Now, I bring this up not to get into the nitty gritty about civil war, national divorce, mm-hmm. but I want to highlight, and I, and I will also stress, she didn't call for it. She, she said it was possible. Totally absurd but headline. The reason I wanted to highlight this is that the idea of national divorce has become more and more prominent. And I got to be honest. One of the big factors driving why I think that may be the case, it's not taxes. It's not even uh, necessarily no, Democrat. We don't know what else to do. Well, it's the Epstein case. It's people literally watching Hillary Clinton destroy public <clears throat> records and get away with it. It's yes. people knowing definitively what was going on with that island and with Maxwell, and then it all getting cover up just after Christmas. And Russia Gate. People are going and, to, and I mean, Russia Gate. What, what, exactly. what are you That's supposed to not respond to Russia Gate? I mean, are you? I mean, this is what drives me nuts. Are you supposed to not respond? We're supposed to sit here and just accept the fact that like the entire national security apparatus of the United States, including the entire media, the entire mainstream media, everything. I mean, everything, every institution that we have was working against us and was working against our president. And I obviously I say this as somebody who was working in the Trump administration, but it wasn't just me. It was we were there for everybody else. Okay, like that was the whole point. It was the hope of America. It was the last hope of normal Americans, okay? I, and and what we're supposed to we're supposed to just what are we supposed to do? That's the, that's the thing. We we on this show, we try to do, <clears throat> you know, good segues, you know what I mean? So we yeah. have we want to talk about don't look up and the politics and then you worked in Hollywood and all that. And I'm sitting here thinking like we have these different paths pathways, but when we started talking about effectively the cover up with mm-hmm. with, with what's going on with the Maxwell trial. She's guilty. Haha, it's all over everybody. Go home, records are sealed and we're like, what about Bill Gates? What about, I mean, Luke's got a list Les of names. Les Wexler, Clinton, John Luke sorry, Bernay, let's, Kevin let's, Spacey, let's Bill Clinton. More, sorry, but, the most obvious yeah. one of them all. Like, like, like they, that's the thing is you can, you, can, you can get caught up in all of the more detailed ones, but you've just got, you've got one that actually like you could go nuts on. Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton. And look, the, the, the left likes to just yell Donald Trump because <laughs> Trump, right, I guess there's course. more records that came out. I don't yep. care. I don't care. Mm-hmm. You want to defend Trump? By all means, defend Trump. I just want the, I want to know what happened. I don't care who's, I don't, I don't care who's involved. I'm not defending anybody. If someone's involved, put I out their know. files, prove it. But when I hear this and, and, and you were saying you believed in these institutions, it made me think of this, the story that we were going to get into with the national divorce thing, because I'm like, at a certain point, if you have no faith in the FBI, if you have no faith in the CIA, if, if you think they're actively working against you and protecting some of the most despicable and evil people, I got to say, Marjorie Taylor Greene in Congress saying a national divorce scenario is possible. I'm like, yeah, no, it's not one of the for most, those reasons, it, for the other reasons. It's, it's one of the most mild things you could say. I'm sorry, but if you're supposed to believe we live in it, that's why, I'm, that's why I keep going back to it. We do not live in the country we thought we did. And I, I can do nothing but say that, okay? I don't have the solution to that, but I, I say it over and over again. And people are like, yeah, 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 okay, we don't live in the... I'm like, no, 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 you guys got to grapple with what that means. That means the FBI, the CIA, all the institutions, everything, it's all gone. It's yeah. all the opposite of what it was supposed to be. You might as well be already living in like a conquered... I mean, it, sometimes it makes people feel uh, easier to think about it if you think about a foreign country, right? Okay, we've been taken over by China. Fine. Imagine we've already been taken over by China. That actually is like totally different, completely different concept. But we got a story about that. And it's probably true. Okay, go go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. no, no. I'm just gonna, We'll get into it later. But Mike Pompeo said we've been infiltrated at every level. Oh. So carry on with your point. Like I'm, I'm like, why I agree. would you? Why would you pick that one? Oh man, you really went there. All what? right. Well, because Mike Pompeo is not my favorite person that's ever run for anything. Um, well, regardless, if, if yeah, of if, course he says that. Of course he thousand... says that. You want to know the most obvious thing on the planet? If you ever, if you ever wanted to know the most like obvious conservative position that was like the 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 least hard thing to say years later than it was actually important, go to Mike Pompeo Pompeo's Twitter and just see what he's saying. Like the stuff like where he's like, oh, America is not fond of social. 
socialist. We will never be a socialist country. And you're like, yes, thank you, sir, for saying that. As my friends and I get dragged off to the gulag, I really appreciate you saying we're not a socialist country. Thanks a lot, man. Good, good one. Yeah, Mike Pompeo was head of the CIA calling yes, a lot let's, of the shots let's, here. Let's be a little uh, bit well, careful sure, sure, when sure. we... Uh, I, I not I only that, but I'm he... Not, not only that, but he was confirmed within three days. Okay, somebody who's confirmed for the CIA within three days makes me... I don't know if you guys know how the Senate works and all that, but that makes me very uncomfortable. Number two, he put Gina in charge. Okay, Gina Hospital. Yeah. Gina Hospital, who I'll remind you, was the head of London Station during the entirety of Russiagate. Yeah. Okay, and, do you and know what that means? And, and she do also has a bad torturing past though? as well. I don't care if yeah. she tortures... Like, the, yes, okay, fine, 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 fine. But look, you CIA, they're all good at torturing. That's that's where they put these psychopaths. That's why they that's why they <laughs> that's why they have this these this place for these weirdos to work. Um, but uh, but the but the key here is okay during Russia Gate during all of the Durham's the Dur- I mean all the stuff that Durham is uncovering uh, there is either she's the most incompetent person on the planet or she knew every single thing that was going on in London when this was happening because at the end of the day Russia Gate is not about Russia Russia Gate is about London all right. And that's something that I think a lot of us understand. I don't know if the entirety of the country understands that, but Russiagate is about London. It's about what happened in London. Okay. And 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 the fact that that person would be put in charge of our my my president's CIA. And I, I hate that. I hate to say it. Well, we. I, w- I want to. I want to do a, ahead, I wanna do ahead, a full segment on your documentary. Sure. I brought up Mike Pompeo only to mention that he came out and only said, to drive me nuts, didn't you? Well, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it, but it's, it's, I don't care about Mike Pompeo. I care about the fact that we have the thousand talent programs, uh, pro, uh, yeah. thousand talents program. We have people being arrested for uh, uh, colluding with China. These professors, yeah, and we have claims that China's infiltrated the United States. So you, yeah, and you, what did he do about it while we were there? I mean, do you know what we had to? Do you know what we had to do to even get? We didn't. We couldn't even get. We couldn't even get the higher ups to say that they were an adversary. I mean, I don't know if you guys know how government works, but You're like there's the Trump administration. Yeah, be. there's those of us that like are are in the uh, middle ranks, the lower ranks, whatever you want to call it. I, I have no. I have no like 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 a, a pre- pretense about like where I worked or whatever. I mean, I was a das at one point. Who cares? Well, so well, none I, of this I, matters. But my, but my question do is: you know, what we had to do is, to even. To get that, to, and to get that, no, to adversaries. get to, to to get to. Okay, so the language that's used at State Department is very very important. This actually uh, categorizes countries in a different category than they would normally be. And there's things there's there's all kinds of levels. There's adversary. There's there's a, a challenge. There's um, um, enemy. There's well, I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm probably listing them wrong, but. The idea that Mike Pompeo was actually properly uh, 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 tough on China and I don't, on I don't, Iran is absolutely nonsense. I do want to. I, I want to have a full segment. Sure, sure, yeah. And so I'm. 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 I'm more curious as to whether you think. China has infiltrated the United States and it's something. Oh, absolutely. About. I mean, there's no. Oh, sorry. I didn't even think there was a question about that. I'm so sorry. Yes, of course. Absolutely. I mean, you've got you've got we're, we're not even trying. We're not even looking at our universities. We're not. I, we can't even have certain forums. We can't even have conferences uh, 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 about certain issues because so many foreign countries own our universities, which I don't care about the university. I mean, I do care about the universities, but. They also uh, control the think tanks. They control the conferences. They control all of this stuff that's happening. We could barely do a conference that was uh, semi-accurate about uh, uh, Qatar, okay? And this was a very, very big deal that happened in D.C. while I was working there. And 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 there were people that I actually quite like that were like, uh, I can't go to that because I'm sponsored by a university that does X, Y, and Z. And it turns out that's who's paying for everything. And, uh, you know, okay, times that by 2,000 for China. Okay, forget, forget Qatar. China has the entire i mean are there i i i can think of almost i can think of like one or two foreign policy institutes in the united states that are actually free to express themselves and free to uh to argue the points that are actually for the united states that's how bad it is i mean they've taken over from the inside for a long long time and it's not just the you know confucius institutes and all that which i'm i'm, I'm assuming you know well about oh, yeah, yeah. all that okay so okay we're talking about like when you own the universities, it's not just about owning the universities. You own the thought process that comes out of that because that's how our nation's built, right? We're built on think tanks and uh, 
and white papers and X, Y, and Z. And, and then these are the people that are hired in the higher uh, levels of the institutions like the State Department and whatnot, which end up becoming the people that make the decisions, that decide what's going to happen in our foreign policy. It's not nothing. It's not just white papers and uh, and, 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 and arguments and, and conferences and, and, and fluffy things like that. These are these are the people that are going to actually sign the papers. They're going to make the decisions. They're going to decide what the UN statement says, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's it could not be more significant. And uh, there were others that saw this besides me. Okay, it's not just me. It's just that uh, we're quite outnumbered. I mean, like it's 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 not easy to to shout this stuff from the rooftop because you just you they they write you off as a loon and thanks for checking out this segment from the Timcast IRL podcast if you want to watch live you can check out this channel Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to this channel and if you want more unfiltered and uncensored content with all of these guests go to timcast.com and become a member all of these guests you know and love in exclusive segments on our website where we are unrestricted in what we talk about, so you'll definitely not want to miss it. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you all next time.